if you are under the sound of my voice just know your light has come and your life will never be the same without wasting much of your time let us lead the way for today we are going to lead from ezekiel chapter 7 verse 6 the end has come it has finally arrived your final doom is waiting our text today is jesus is coming are you ready the bible says the end has come if jesus comes right away now are you going to be saved is he going to pick you if rapture happens this very minute are you going to meet the lord in the air if you die right now are you going to die in jesus remember jesus said i'll come like a thief which means you need to be led each and every day for the coming of jesus are you ready for his coming you are ready if you have his holy spirit inside your heart the holy spirit comes inside your heart once you listen to the word and you believe to believe means to start doing the word of god when the word says don't commit adultery that means you stop committing adultery don't lie don't sleep around don't do corruption that means you stop doing those things you stop lying when you do that that means you have believed and the holy spirit dwells inside your heart it's the holy spirit inside your heart that signifies that establishes you that identifies you as a child of god in this world you will not receive anything from god unless you are his child you receive from god through jesus through his holy spirit when we read ephesians chapter 1 verse verse 3 the bible says every blessings comes from god and through jesus christ which means without jesus it is impossible for you to receive from god without the holy spirit is impossible for you to receive from god which means you need the holy spirit to be in you you need the holy spirit always to stay in you so that you receive from god at the same time at the last day you can be picked and meet the lord in the air is the holy spirit inside your heart we are talking the holy spirit within and not the holy spirit power remember there is the holy spirit power there is the holy spirit with you and the holy spirit in you the holy spirit with you is the holy spirit who only take you to church to a place of worship to listen to the word so that you may believe and accept the spirit to be inside your heart many of us we are just walking with the holy spirit we go to church because the holy spirit is with us but what the with the holy spirit wants is that after you listen to the word you must start doing that word but many of us we do not start doing the word of god so each time the holy spirit is just with us is just walking with us and this holy spirit with us will not pick us at the last day to meet the lord in the air you will just live alone leaving you behind but when you listen to the word and you believe that means you accept jesus to be inside your heart remember in revelation chapter 3 verse 20 the bible says here i am i am knocking at the door of your heart if you listen if you open this door if you open your heart i will enter and give you life each time you are going to a place of worship each time you are throwing the word 
on the on the social media each time you go to church to fellowship it's like the it's like jesus is knocking at the door of your heart the day you will start doing the word you listen that means it's like you are opening that door for jesus to enter your heart many of us we go to church yes but we have not yet opened the door of our heart jesus is still outside our life jesus is still outside many churches because we do not allow him to enter our churches we do not allow him to enter our life meaning that we are not doing the word we claim we are not doing the word we claim we know we are not doing the word we teach Jesus is coming. Are you ready for the coming of Jesus? Jesus wants you to be ready. Be ready for his coming. He is coming very soon and he wants you to be ready. You are ready if you have the Holy Spirit inside your heart. Make sure that the Holy Spirit lives inside your heart and make sure you do not grieve him. Reading Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30, the Bible says, do not grieve the Holy Spirit of the Lord. Why? Because he has a identified you as a child of God and that at the last day he will pick you and meet the Lord in the air. The question is how can we grieve the Holy Spirit? It is your unforgiving spirit. Failure to forgive other people is like telling the Holy Spirit why you are in my life. It's like questioning the Holy Spirit why are you in my life? Remember the Holy Spirit came inside your life after you have listened to the word and you have believed meaning that you he has come inside you because you have been forgiven previously you were not doing the word of god and now you have started doing the word of god then you have been forgiven and signified by the holy spirit inside your heart so the holy spirit is inside your heart because you have been forgiven and it is important to 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 and it is important to make sure you also forgive others to accept to validate the presence of the Holy Spirit inside your heart. Many of us are not good at forgiving others. Many of us, we are living in anger. We are living not loving others. It is loving others, not living in anger and forgiving others, which will make the Holy Spirit not to be grieved and to remain inside your life. Be ready for the coming of Jesus. Make sure the Holy Spirit dwells inside your heart. May the good Lord be with you. May he grant you the grace of salvation upon your life. In Jesus' mighty name.